Protecting biodiversity has moved beyond pure nature conservation. It's now about using natural resources to further sustainable development. In Ecuador, one of the most biodiverse countries in the world, indigenous communities are benefiting from an initiative launched by the UN Conference on Trade and Development, known as BioTrade, which helps them improve their livelihoods by giving them access to new markets for their sustainably produced goods. This community, high up in the Andes, has begun to rear alpacas, an environmentally friendly animal known for its fine and soft wool. Unlike horses, sheep and cows, the alpacas are ideally suited to the paramo grasslands, as their hooves and teeth don't dig up the soil, which is an important source of water for the region. They were reintroduced to their native habitat a decade ago, but the local communities had lost their traditional knowledge on how to rear them. Now, Ecociencia, a local conservation organization, is helping them, as part of the Biotrade program, better manage the alpacas so that they can provide an alternative source of income. We're working on improving the quality of the wool so we can get the best price for this high-grade material. Once a year, the community gathers to shear the alpacas and grade their fleece for quality. It is a community effort. There are 40 teams who collect the wool together. We then share the money we get with each other. At this handicraft centre, the community is also reviving the ancient tradition of using natural dyes from wild plants and vegetables to better meet consumer demand for a range of colours. I'm passing on what I'm learning to my children so that when I stop doing this, they can continue the tradition. It's hoped that the project will act as an incentive for the younger generation to stay and work the land sustainably, rather than migrate to the towns. But for that to happen, the farmers must be paid a fair price for their alpaca yarn. Finding markets for them is a key part of Ecociencia's work. Our added value is that we help the farmers find niche markets which are interested in helping preserve the environment and which the farmers don't normally have access to. One market for the alpaca yarn is Pacocha, a small business that makes top-of-the-range knitwear. Its founder, Lorena Perez, gave up her job as a nature guide to concentrate on helping poor women earn a decent income. It was for me a, like a dream to think working with an ecological animal, with poor women in the mountains, and with more women in the cities or in the town who are poor. Lorena has signed up to the UNCTAD Biotrade principles, which guarantee that her products preserve the environment and that her workers receive a fair salary. Mm -hmm. Super. These three sisters earn seven times the going rate for their alpaca sweaters, dresses and scarves. <laughs> I like this work because it is creative and I can earn a living, work at home and help my family. While rural communities are beginning to reap the benefits from the Alpaca Biotrade project, their involvement in the sustainable production of medicinal teas is well established. Since 2003, 600 families like that of Emilia Ducci have grown medicinal herbs for sale. We used to grow plants for our personal use, and plants like chamomile were considered weeds. But now we know the medicinal properties they have, we can sell them. The plants are sold to Hambi Kiwa, a producer's cooperative that offers the farmers a fair wage. Before, there always used to be a third party, and so the farmers didn't get a good price for their plants. But now, thanks to Biotrade, they do. 
the herbs are packaged and sold as tea bags in supermarkets in Ecuador. But as with the alpaca yarn, the main market is abroad. The foreign consumers are the ones that motivate, and they're the ones that keep the initiatives going because they're the ones that uh, guarantee the economic sustainability of the initiative. The global fashion industry is responding to the demand for sustainable fashion. In an event organized by UNCTAD and Green to Greener in Geneva, models show off the latest creations from top designers, using natural and recycled materials from sustainable and ethical practices. Amongst the eco chic creations gracing the catwalk was the alpaca dress designed by Pacocha. Depending on what sustainable fashion that you go for, and in the case of this dress, it's really helping disenfranchised groups in a cultural craft that is preservation. I think, you know, all consumers can be philanthropists in a way. And if you do that through, you know, buying a beautiful dress, you're helping contribute to that. Fashion is increasingly not just about looking good, but about doing good too. In the future, through initiatives like Biotrade, it's hoped poor communities will find more markets on the world stage for their sustainably produced wares. <laughs>